Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Tim at Mayberry Farm. And, uh, yeah, been busy lately. Haven't had much chance to play. Um, 400 pounds of zucchini here. And we've got another 160 pounds sitting there on the table and stuff. And then out here we got the old cooler going. That's got 80 pounds in it. Running at 35 degrees, that's about perfect. And yeah, we got a new piece of machinery for the farm downstairs. I'll show it to you. So this is the new machine. It's an XUV 550. One of John Deere's little gators. Um, don't know anything about it. All I know is it ran good, we bought it. And uh, it was one of them things that was, uh, what was it, about eight miles from the house. And a uh, lady we knew owned it and she used it uh, at the fairs. It's got about uh, almost 600 hours on it. It's got a lot of time. Most of that is just, you know, going at five, 10 miles an hour between booths and whatnot and hauling ice and, you know, all their supplies. I mean, the back here, you can see they've had a lot of stuff in and out of it. It's been used, but that's no problem. And they obviously pressure washed it a lot because you know what press, pressure washing does to stuff. But I'm gonna get underneath it a little bit and take a look, see what it looks like. Well, it don't look bad underneath. Looks like maybe a uh, place here that catches a lot of crap. I'd say I ought to maybe drop this pan down, clean that. I guess that's about the limit. I guess there's nothing else in there, just a few leaves. But yeah, that's all there is. Anyway. Yeah, I don't believe they use this off-road much at all. It looks pretty darn clean. Yeah, they've hit it there a few times, but yeah, very, very clean. Um, yeah, I'm going to check the oil in it. And uh, brakes seem to work awful good. I mainly wanted to look stuff over. I don't see any grease fittings on this stuff. It appears that there are no grease fittings. Now, when it wears out, you replace. That's typical. Yeah, there is the level plug right there. I will find out if that's supposed to take the uh, trans guide like a regular John Deere tractor does or if it takes something else. Probably could tell by pulling the plug. Um, but yeah, all the boots look good on it. I don't see anything ripped. I told Carol I was going to give it a quick once over here before we took it outside. Guess I'll roll it back so I can check the engine oil. You know, it took me a few minutes, but I finally found between the seat here where the oil check is. So. And it needs a change. Um, so, pretty black. It's not completely full, but it's close. So, anyway. It's not real bad, as you can see. I've seen a lot worse, but we'll run it for now. Um, I will get a filter for this and I'm not even sure where the filter is on it. It's probably right over there. That's the problem with these little dump beds on them. They're a pain in the ass. Um, anyway, probably have to get it from underneath. I am wondering, what make is this engine anyway? I wonder if that's a Kawasaki. Overhead valve, could be a Briggs too, I don't know. I don't see a name tag on it. Now, 
There is something there for tags down there in the bottom. Safety shit. Give me a few minutes. I'll see if I can cipher that out. We did not get manuals with this. Which was kind of disappointed. She didn't have a clue where they were. Um, these people are carnival people. They go back and forth. You know, live kind of a hectic lifestyle. So, I kind of, you know, they may find it. If they do, um, you know, they live it across the street from one of my best friends. So, we'll get it if they find it. But, anyway, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. I'll type this out. So, anyway, she checks out good enough to operate anyway. Gotta have your foot on the brake, I guess, to get it started. This is the only problem. We can't figure how to get the other half of that sticker off that's stuck to the windshield. If it was glass, I could do it, but it's plexiglass. So, anyway, I'll go get the door shut. take her over to Carol. She wants something she can go up and down the roads when she's picking beans when somebody drives into the farm stand. 